what's involved in putting together this Titan four post lift 8,000 pound capacity. Hey guys, this is how the Titan lift is shipped. I actually picked this one up from KOI and uh, we'll put a link down below on how to get a hold of them if you're interested in one of these lifts. Uh, we did purchase this one during the Cavalcade of Customs. So it's an 8,000 pound four post. Uh, you can roll around. It's a movable portable lift. Um, it is a storage lift, which is what I think you've been yeah, using what we it use it for. Yeah, so you yeah. park a car on top, on the bottom. Right. Um, great quality, and uh, we, hopefully we'll sell a lot this weekend. So, so angle iron on one end, uh, welded together, and then they just bolt this whole thing together. And so a four post Titan lift, and this thing has an 8,000 pound capacity. Uh, we'll have basically stored two cars on it here at ESG. And you know what, guys? It's really cool. Look at this. All the stuff is packaged down in here. Uh, this is These are the trays, you know, that go underneath the lift. Um, and then, golly, they, the, the wheels are in here. Everything is packaged up. Uh, really? We're going to watch Ray with his magic. He is going to basically pull this thing apart. We've got the forklift coming in. Uh, outside of storage, we do a little bit of work on the cars with these things. Nothing big, but... Uh... Okay, guys, we're getting started here at Easy Street Garage. You can see behind me that Ray and, and Leon are getting started on the uh, Titan lift. Uh, we're going to capture a bit of it today. I'm not going to give you blow-by-blow blow, uh, details on how this thing goes together, uh, because what I want you to do is call Ray and let him put it together for you. What's the tightest space you guys ever put one of these together in? The garage where we're going to cut a half inch off the edge of each column. To oh, to fit wall. on either side? Yeah. That's tight. <laughs> yeah. How about uh, what's the highest that, I mean, you know, that's the biggest complaint most guys have with a garage is they can't, you know, they don't have enough clearance. Yeah, so I've have you ever had anybody put one of these together in a standard, like, eight, nine-foot ceiling? Nine or? Foot, yes. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So at that point, you can only go underneath it with a creeper, or really, uh, you can't walk under it. Uh, nine-foot ceiling, the guy had a creeper seat, well, no use. Yeah. So, guys, on the Titan lift, you get these really cool wheels. Just in case, like we did on this lift... Uh, we moved it from next door, Easy Street Garage 1, to Easy Street Garage 2, and it made easy work. I got four guys over here, four guys equally kind of distributed the weight. We got it moved over here, no problem. So the wheels are really a cool thing. So, Ray, is this your first lift? <laughs> Today. Today. <laughs> How many would you reckon you guys have put together? 
We're into the thousands. Are you? Oh yeah. That's cool. Thousands. right here, correct? Locking, Locking mechanisms. Lock ladder, I believe is its actual name. Okay. And so a couple years ago, all of this component used to be rigidly mounted in there, and that created a bit of a problem. Yep. So the newest Titan lifts now, all of these locking mechanisms are, I guess, floating. So independent. independent. They allow for more yeah. For the floor to be off. Oh, okay. Super. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, can't, you can't you can't fault them for that. Talking real quick about uh, OKI's location down downtown, and um, so the fact is, is that that warehouse down there was the Crosley factory. Leon works down there. He goes into the old Crosley factory every day. Dusty every day. It's pretty dusty there, yeah. And then Ray's mom worked down at the Crosley factory, but she worked in the radio side, right? Yeah. All right, so, and then later on, she probably made cannonballs or, can, or you know, bombs for the war, right? Like that, yeah. yeah, World War, uh, World War II. Yeah. So that place, I did not realize it, full of history. It was kind of cool to go around, take the uh, guided, little bit of a guided tour, and we got to see, you know, the tracks where the cars would go through during assembly and whatnot. Really cool place. Okay, so what we did now, just now, is raise up there and he is aligning all the locks so they basically lock at the same time, so it's all leveled. So as this lift goes up and down, there are locks here, uh, and um, that's for your safety and the safety of your car. If the hydraulics were to fail, they're gonna hit these locks like you hear right now. And like magic, they're all Four independent locks together. clinking together. 
right now what we're doing is we're installing the all the linkage for those locks so that when you lower it you just um, there's a lever on one end you pull it in and drops down and it uh, it releases the locks so the car can then come down to the ground Okay guys, so we're gonna wrap this video up. The lift is in. Ray, I kinda held you up a little bit. It was like two hours. That's arriving, unloading, and loading back up. Something like that. Two hours to put that lift together. I'll tell you what guys, don't try it on your own. Have somebody professional do it like Ray. His contact information is right down there below. And so give this guy a call two hours and if i wasn't in the way i'll bet you would have been less but anyways thank you so much appreciate it titan lifts installed okay guys so that's going to be a wrap on this edition of easy street garage we have the second titan lift installed up here and we've got both bullets on top underneath got the mach 1 second lift here in esg2 Got plenty of room to work and play and hang out and do all the things that we like to do here uh, on a regular basis here at Easy Street Garage. So, hey, listen, thanks, Ray, for the install of that Titan Lift. You're a professional. I recommend any of you guys that are thinking about buying a Titan Lift. By the way, he has installed plenty of these in nine-foot ceilings. And so if you're thinking about putting one in, I would, wouldn't mind doing it. I mean, why not? All right. So... Until the next edition of Easy Street Garage, thanks for tuning in. Subscribe, hit the bell for instant notifications, and give us a thumbs up. We appreciate it. Subscriptions are important. Thank you very much, guys. Until next time, we're out.